Are you saved, like for real? And if you are, do you know how to accurately explain or uh, break down your salvation? If the answer is no, no judgment. That's why I'm here to help you today. The term salvation implies that you would need to be saved from something or someone. So let's define it this way. Salvation is the active dependence on Jesus Christ to save or deliver you from sin, hell, and death upon his return. We actively depend on Jesus for salvation because it comes by grace through faith. So these are two things or two things we're going to break down. Salvation by grace means that we did nothing at all to deserve this grace from God. John 3:16 says, "For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but would have everlasting life." So here we see that we received this salvation because God loved us. It was nothing that we've done. He sent his son Jesus not because we worked hard for it. In fact, over 2022 years ago at the time of this recording when he died for us we weren't even a figment of our parents' imagination and also the term salvation speaks it comes through faith as well it says that whosoever believes in him will not perish she didn't say may not perish or has a chance that they would not perish she says they will not perish and that's a promise so practically depending upon Jesus Christ for your salvation looks like not trying to work or to live holy or righteous in your own efforts, but simply depending upon the faith and the grace that he's enabled us to live in. So we can see a consistent theme here of grace and faith that's necessary for salvation. Grace affords us the opportunity to be saved because we have to depend on the worthy lamb who was slain for the fa from the foundations of the world for us and on our behalf. Salvation also affords us the opportunity to escape hell because hell or destruction or wrath is reserved for anyone who does not believe. As you can see in the scripture verses below, we see that whoever does not believe is damned or condemned already. But since we believe in Jesus and we've accepted this, we have the opportunity to escape hell. Therefore, salvation helps us to escape hell. Salvation also gives us the opportunity to be able to escape death because the wages of sin is death. And if Jesus Christ came down, died on on the cross for our sins that means that he blots and cancels out our sin and so that the the consequence of death is no longer applicable to all those who believe in him for salvation therefore your salvation should make you confident we have a sure salvation is what the bible says and we don't have to worry nor fret about dying in sin or going to hell but we have a god in whom we can trust and it takes active dependence every single day to depend on jesus to save you the only thing that we're expected to do is have faith in jesus christ and his saving power and to receive this grace humbly so we no longer have to worry about dying and going into hell. We no longer have to worry about trying to live a perfect, righteous, holy life before God. Because our righteousness, which we'll learn in another module, is attained by Jesus and ascribed unto us. I want you to be confident in your salvation, whether you die in Christ or if Jesus Christ comes and we are alive here on the earth. But whatever you do, be confident in the one who has the power to save you.